What is up everybody? How are you guys doing today on today's Horror Talk? We are going to be talking about the brand new Netflix movie, The Titan. <laughs> Now, The Titan is telling this story through Sam Worthington's experience being a family man and taking a part in this military experiment because the world, as we know, is ending. And so they kind of come up with this new genetic scientific experiment to genetically alter a human into a Titan. Sam Worthington. Mm -hmm not a great actor by any means any performance i've ever seen him in has been very dull very basic now in this movie sam worthington has to portray three stages of acting basically he has to act like the family man in stage one in stage two he is basically in a transition state and then stage three he is basically becoming a titan um so it's not a lot of acting within that sort of stage. He's sort of doing this blank stare. And there's supposed to be some kind of feeling between him and his wife in that stage because he can't speak. So everything is kind of based on looks and movements and hand gestures. Doesn't really create a, a great feeling of love in that third act, um, but I'm jumping ahead on What is really good with the Titan? It's shot particularly well. It's not very cheap looking. It, it looks like it has some kind of money behind it. And the story is not too bad. It reminds me of a movie called uh, The Species. So this movie reminds me of a 1995 movie called uh, Species in which they kind of took some, you know, egg and kind of genetically it formed into this sort of hybrid of a woman and an alien being sort of type of thing and where that movie kind of took things in a very over sexualized kind of state and in some horror elements this movie jumps all over the map as far as um, does it want to be a drama sci-fi a scientific drama does it want to be horror body horror it tries to sprinkle a little bit of everything in there which can sometimes be good and sometimes can be bad. In this case, it's not really good. But on to what is good about this movie. Sam Worthington is sort of the name to draw you in, but we, it kind of takes a back seat as far as the performance wise. His wife, played by Taylor uh, Schilling, who is uh, Dr. Abby uh, uh, Janison, she is kind of the star breakout character in, in the movie. She is the one that you kind of root for and the one that you kind of follow more so on this journey. And also her relationship to the lead doctor or the evil doctor, as I keep calling him, Tom Wilskin, uh, playing as uh, evil doctor. And their relationship between those two characters is, I think, a really good part of this movie sort of her journey in all of this. Um, and they kind of dive into that about how the struggles and what she has to kind of go through with this change in, in not only her husband, but in her life overall um, with the way things are going. And him as an evil doctor, you kind of see where his point is of what he wants, but obviously in a very generic sci-fi movie he kind of goes over the edge and, and ends up being very evil as you can tell there are a lot of shots in this movie that are just overdone there's just shots that we don't need we spend a lot of time seeing sam worthington in the water sort of like he's a dolphin um, he loves the water and we see at least three or four scenes of him being underwater I'm blue. Um, there is a relationship that is explored with the titans but it's not really pushed through in the movie uh it's it's only there for a couple scenes and then you're kind of wondering where is this gonna go is this gonna go somewhere and it doesn't and then in the third act it just kind of drops the ball and it just goes a little bit 
too generic as far as the sci-fi horror drama movie. Um, there are things that you kind of predict that are going to happen and they do. Um, the ending just feels like, hey, you know, here's that thing we were talking about. Yeah, if uh, you're strolling around on Netflix, I'd have to say give this movie a skip. So the Titan for me gets a basic five out of 10. It wasn't poor as far as the budget and the acting. The movie overall was filmed very well, but I felt like the storylines that it could have explored better, um, but they just kind of gloss over some things and by the end, it's just kind of just basic. It's like a basic sci-fi horror movie. So yeah, that is my thoughts on Netflix, The Titan. What are your thoughts? Leave them down in the comment section. If you have seen it, leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, I will catch you guys on the next video. Adios, good night, Zombie Chris is out of here.